Hey guys, so this is Izam and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I will be showing you how to draw this waterfall painting. Well, actually trees next to a waterfall. This is done in the Japanese um, watercolor brush painting. This is called a Sumi painting. It's, it just uses black ink. I am using Affinity Designer on my iPad so you can also use that and follow me along so without further ado let's get into the video hey guys so today we'll be doing affinity designer and in this video i will be showing you how to create a sumi painting and in this case i'll be using an, a portrait mode canvas okay so let's clear the screen I'm going to switch to the pixel persona okay and you should too I'm going to add a new layer and this will be a pixel layer this will be a very quick and easy painting the first thing I'm going to do is select the appropriate brushes and the best brush for this is the dense wash so get your dense wash select that and I am going to increase the brush size, the brush width to about maybe 200. I'm going to set the opacity to 100 and let's begin. Today we'll be drawing the pine tree. So let's begin from the top and we go down. We can actually start from the bottom. All right. So I am not putting much pressure on the screen. Okay. You can start from the top like this and just go like zigzag like that or you can do like this one like that now I'm pressing on the screen pressing hard like that and that's it and that's your tree another way that we can do it is by starting from the bottom so here up light touch and then you start pressing down like that okay pressing hard now as you go further down on the base it gets wider like that all right now here's the thing i'm going to draw a few trees so take note that the ones behind will be much lighter so to do a much lighter paint you just need to decrease the opacity I'm decreasing to 53 and I'm just going to continue like that and like that and over here Line over here, here. As you get further away, it gets lighter and lighter. Okay, decreasing the opacity. Okay. I am going to increase the opacity to the fullest 100% and I'm going to add some more trees in front like that okay and over here and now I'm going to draw the ground the hill so these tr these trees will be on a, some sort of a cliff okay so here's the ground I'm gonna press hard okay. you can experiment the style realize that when I move the pen okay I'm pressing hard and then at the end I will just release the pressure just like touch like that experiment with this okay so now we have this I'm just going to duplicate this you can do the same thing all right 
I'm going to select that and press duplicate and turn this one off so for this I am going to resize the reason why I duplicate is because I do not want to waste my original painting just in case this layer that I'm doing does not work out all right so this I'm gonna re resize make it smaller and place it on top now I will have a new pixel layer and I will, I'm gonna draw something and I want you to see this what I'm going to draw is the waterfall I'm going to increase the brush size a lot bigger maybe to about 430 I think this will be good and I'm going to decrease the opacity to about maybe 50 alright let's begin this is a purely experimental and see what happens I'm pressing hard like that down so here is where the water will fall right and it has to look like a waterfall and here are where the foams are where the, the water will fall here and create some a lot of bubbles here a lot of foams so I'm gonna decrease the opacity further and it's gonna paint downwards like that okay and decrease the opacity further to about 13 and just draw like this curves like humps it's going to be look very fade curves all right i'm going to increase the opacity a little bit now take note this is purely experimental I'm just going to see how it turns out okay and over here Does this look like a waterfall? Maybe. All right, so this is done. I hope it does look like a waterfall. Okay. And just add another layer, pixel layer. And I'm just gonna draw some clouds in the sky, just for good measure. Let's, let's do this. Okay, so the width is, remains the same. The opacity I'm going to lower it about 25, 27, 26 and just press and hold, press hard just let it go like that here and over here okay so that's it but one more thing this kind of uh, this black is not dark enough I'm just gonna add some more ink to it to the trees so this is where the trees are I'm gonna tap on this layer and I'm gonna add more color set the opacity to 100 set the brush size back down so maybe about 100 and let's begin adding some color I'm just gonna press and hold press hard just add some more ink okay and then over here
And over here. Okay. And I think we're done. All right. So go ahead and experiment on your own. All right. I hope you like that video and I hope you can follow along. With that said, I would like to also mention that I do have an Instagram account. You can check out my Instagram account and follow me if you wish. And you, have, you can look through uh, all the artwork that I've done. And also I do have a Patreon account which I just set up. So if you like my work, you could you know, support me by becoming my patron if you wish. I would also appreciate it greatly if you could give a like to this video if you do like it and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of my videos in the future. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.